Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading all about the energies between you and the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Taurus watching. Um, we're also going to be looking at where all of this is headed in the near future. So let's get right into it for Taurus. Spirit, angels, guidance. What guidance? What messages do you have for Taurus regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? Regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with? Oh. For Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know? About love so let's see what we have for you Taurus main energy four of cups and the devil Capricorn energy there on your side we have the star Aquarius energy and the two of cups on their side we have judgment and the king of Pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy there so you could be dealing with another earth sign We'll put the future energies down here. Bottom of the deck, overall energy is the Fool. So in this instance, the Fool could be um, a card all about breaking free because we have the Devil here and it, this is a card about restriction, bonds, attachments. Um, so we'll see if that's the case. Let's get some more energies out here. What are the energies between Taurus and this person? Spirit, what are the energies between Taurus? What are the energies between Taurus and this person? What are the energies between Taurus and this person? Okay, we have Secret Admirer. And breathe in. Hmm. Let's get another energy out here. Someone could be watching you from afar, keeping tabs on you, Taurus. But maybe there's not a lot of action or communication coming from them. What else do we need to know? about the energies between Taurus and this person. Courtship. So this is kind of like a traditional connection, the beginnings of a connection. Bottom of the deck, we have Thief. Okay. So someone might not be completely honest here. We'll see if that's if that was an issue. Can I have some clarity, please, for Taurus. The Four of Cups is here, so in the main energy, both of your energies are here, Taurus. But from what I see here, it's almost like whatever is happening with this Devil energy, someone's not happy, not satisfied. <clears throat> so let's see what this is all about with the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here, Spirit? The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups have shown up twice, and you have the Two of Cups on your side here, Taurus. So this could be somebody that's not happy in a relationship, not satisfied in a relationship or a partnership. What else for this Four of Cups? Why is the Four of Cups here? The Hermit, Virgo energy, a lot of Earth energy here. Yeah, I feel like someone's really thinking about this. Withdrawn, trying to figure something out. Um, Five of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So I just sense that someone's kind of like looking at this partnership, this Two of Cups, and it's kind of like, 
I don't know, the hermit's very quiet. Maybe Taurus, you or this person that you're dealing with, you're wondering why there's no movement or communication from the other person, or you're wondering where this connection is headed, something like that. Why is the devil here? Wow, the six of cups. Why is the devil here? Two of cups, six of cups, this could be a soulmate connection or just a very strong connection why is the devil here the six of cups could also be representing the past why is the devil here or an attachment from the past page of pentacles i think this could um be someone that's like Instead of restricted, more tempted, lusting after an opportunity with a Six of Cups. Desiring something very strongly, being attracted to something very strongly. But the devil is kind of like a warning. Um, unless you're dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn specifically. But sometimes the devil is kind of like, watch out because... Your actions, your decisions might not lead to the healthiest place. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool. The knight of swords. Tell me about the fool. Communication, truth. Quick messages with the knight of swords. Maybe... This is starting something new. Maybe someone's taking a risk to deliver this message. Tell me about the fool. Because the fool is also about like taking risks and a leap of faith. Sagittarius energy with temperance here. And then we have the knight of wands. Interesting. So I feel like temperance and the knight of wands are opposite energies because temperance is an energy about slowly coming together, slowly resolving something, taking your time, being patient. And the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords are like really fast. Unless you're dealing with, of course, a Sagittarius. When I see these energies together, I think of someone thinking long and hard about something, processing something, and then it's like they bite the bullet. So there could be some sort of communication happening here uh, between you and this person. Let's jump down to your energies. Spirit, tell me about Taurus. What energy is Taurus bringing to this connection? The buffalo. So the buffalo is very steady, grounded energy. You look at my book here similar to i put sim similar to the six of swords they see challenge and hardship as a opportunity for upliftment looking at the road ahead trusting every turn so i feel like you're hopeful over the future here when i see the star the two of cups the buffalo energy it's like you know something might take some time or be difficult but you trust that it's going to work out anyway. Yeah, the bear is about new opportunities, new beginnings. Okay, tell me about the person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. What is this other person's energy, spirit? What is this other person's energy? The tiger. The tiger always reminds me of the queen of wands. What are I right here for the tiger? Yeah, the queen of wands. Fearless, sensual, receptive, devoted, nothing to fear. Passionate and strong. So I think your person is trying to be fearless here about certain actions that they want to take towards you. Let's get some more insight. Um, here. What else do we need to know about Taurus and this other person? Spirit, 
This is from my Secret Moon Oracle deck and just in case you're curious, um, my Stellar Energy deck was up there. All of the decks that I've designed are linked in the description box if you wanna check them out. All right, for Taurus Spirit, what do we need to know about Taurus? And Taurus, I have you on the left and your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. I feel guilty. So Taurus, you might be feeling um, regret over something from the past here. Let's put this over here. Maybe there were some decisions that didn't really go your way here or you didn't take action when you should have, or you didn't say something when you should have, or something like that. Tell me about this other person that Taurus is, has or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? I want a second chance. So that's probably why judgment is here. Because judgment is about revivals, resurrections, second chances. Okay, so let's look at your energy here. Why is the star here? The star is about healing, hope, having faith. And again, this is about this Two of Cups. Why is the star here? The Knight of Wands. Maybe you're hoping for action. Tell me about the star. The Chariot. Yeah. I think some of you are hoping that this person comes in. Cancer energy with the Chariot or make some sort of move. The stars at the bottom of the deck here as well. Tell me about the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? The queen of swords. Why is the two of cups here? I think some of you, if you're not with this person, perhaps you're wondering, if they feel the way that you feel. Strength, Leo energy. I think you're just hoping that someone has the courage to talk to you, make a move towards you. Maybe there hasn't been a lot of action or communication and it's almost like you're still hoping that this will happen despite the fact that there's no action or communication. So let's look at your person. Tell me about judgment. Nice judgment here for Taurus. Page of Swords. So yeah, it could be that they're coming in with some sort of a message with the Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. This could be a text. Tell me about judgment. Nice judgment here. Ace of Pentacles. Oh yeah, definitely. This person could be making you some sort of offer, proposal, promise, with the Ace of Pentacles asking for an opportunity here. There's a Six of Swords, interesting. They could be coming over then. If you've been hoping for them to stop by or something like that, they could ask to come over. Um, obviously, um, for someone to come over, it's, it's, you know, I feel like there would be probably a little bit of communication between you or something that you talk about in this message is, hey, I was thinking about stopping by. There's a Six of Swords again. This person could also, they may have been the one that left this connection as well and are wanting to come back in. I see that as well. Maybe they're leaving something in their life in order to come to you. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. The lovers, Gemini energy here. Yeah, there's definitely like this energy of like soulmates, strong um, bonds. Tell me about the king of pentacles, the hangman. So this person has taken their time. Maybe they're realizing now, there's the king of pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they're realizing now that you are someone that is, you know, your bond is very special. Maybe it took them some time to, to realize this. Can you get one more for the King of Pentacles? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Nine of Wands. So they have been slowed down by something. 
Maybe they had other responsibilities, burdens, obligations. Maybe they've been through something difficult that has slowed them down. Yeah, Five of Swords is here. So I don't know if this is the Nine of Wands, the Five of Swords is something that happened a, a, apart from you, Taurus, or if this is what the history between you and this person, that they still are thinking about this, about this Nine of Wands with you, or, you know, regardless of it, it's the, if it's if this is the history between you and this person, or if this is something they're going through right now, it has slowed them down in coming forward. So where's all of this headed? Oh, the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Page of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. So yeah, I feel like there's possibly an apology here with the Page of Cups. Let's see. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Six of Wands. Okay, Seven of Cups. What's this Page of Cups about? I think this is someone thinking about the best way to frame this or communicate this to you to have success, to have victory with the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Cups, please. Two of Swords. So again, I feel like this person with the Two of Swords and the Six of Seven of Pen of I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups, Two of Swords. If I could speak um, and get these cards right, the Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords are telling me that someone was like undecided about which option. Which option? Undec indecision about what to say here. Maybe they're wondering if you're going to even be open to this or guarded. Tell me about the King of Wands. Because the Two of Swords can be a card about guarding yourself, guarding your heart. Why is the King of Wands here? King of Cups. Why is the King of Wands here? And the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, this King of Wands is hoping to turn things around here. There's a Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, tell me about this Ten of Wands. There's that Five of Swords that popped up. So yeah, there's been some sort of burden here that I think is, um, or difficulty, conflict, that is going to, there's a Six of Swords again, that I feel has to, is happening like um, somewhere else in your person's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like this difficulty, and there's a seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. This difficulty, I feel, is going to slow things down. So this is in the near future. So I feel like someone's going to communicate to you. Um, they have intentions uh, with the king of wands to turn things around, to make some sort of change or take some sort of opportunity. But I think that this difficulty will affect the way your connection progresses so keep that in mind that that's what i see here it might be that your person needs to fight against some sort of obstacle or challenge um maybe you're the one that's like uh, i'm not really into this or i'm not sure about this and that's a challenge for your person or they're in some other situation where they have to fight against that obstacle in order to be with you i see both ways let me see, let me cut the deck here. Yeah, there's the Ten of Wands again. So whatever this is, it's very um, difficult. It could be weighing down on them, like it's, it's been a long time that they've been carrying this burden or dealing with this, something like that. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.